thanks for staying with us. Customs management speaks on revenue generation in 2022. Also on customs report, KB Command display more of the seizures seized by men of his command along the nation's borderline. Plus, more report. I am Egisema Etienne. Stay tuned. The Control Nigeria of Nigerian Customs Service said the service will continue to implement measures that will help the importers improve on clearance of their goods at the port. The custom boss made this known in Abuja. We covered the import export. Uh, we have the excise and industrial incentives. That is the one that most advanced countries make their money from because most countries are highly industrialized and therefore they collect excise far more than what they collect on import and export because for them they export more than they import. They only import raw materials. In our own case we import more of finished product than raw materials. Even the export, we export less uh, raw materials than, than we import finished goods. Uh, that, 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 of course, that's what creates the trade imbalance between us and the advanced uh, countries. And what we, what we hope, and I always say this, that as the Controller General of Nigeria Customs Service, I'm looking forward to the day that we will be collecting more excise money because then we now know that we are deploying our money inwards. We are spending our money within the country because for every duty, yes, we are happy, we collect import duty, but it then means that we are finan financing other industries outside Nigeria because these goods are coming as finished goods and we are spending our money to buy them. And that's why we're always running Helter Skelter for, for, for foreign exchange. The CG also speaks on the working of the service in regard to clearance of goods and government policies. Organization. We have uh, what we call the World Custom Organization, which, all, which we all belong to. And uh, under that umbrella, we operate virtually the same goods globally. We operate, we harmonize our system globally. So we need to get our officers to that level where their own uh, capacity to be able to perform at the best practice globally is, is, is attained. And of course, uh, we try to create balance and control uh, through optimal technology de deployment. Today, I make bold to say Nigerian Customs Service is one of if not the best in terms of technological de development and process. Uh, our NICE is two, uh, which we are very soon going to move into the trade modernization uh, system, is the best. On that platform, we have, as of today, over 37 uh, agencies that are keen there. And we believe that for us, that is the single window for Nigeria. Because all trading partners key into that. They have access to it and they work on it. So we believe that uh, that should be our single window as moving forward. But for today, that is our platform of operation. The Control Nigeria of Nigeria Custom Service and members of its management has commissioned the scanning machine in a proper port in Lagos. The Control Nigeria of Customs also said that the scanning machines will help customs to serve Nigerian importers better and to witness the commissioning of our newly installed mobile scanners. Indeed, for all of us who in one way or the other are involved in the facilitation and trade across international borders, today's event will go down in history as a watershed moment. Not because the scanning of goods are new to us in Nigeria, but because for the first time, Nigerian Customs Service will be fully responsible for the management and operations of its own equipment. As part of the reform strategy of our administration, we were compelled to adopt the technology as the linchpin for trade facilitation. By recognizing its strategic importance, 
we have chosen to embrace it in its entirety. Our modernization project seeks to automate all our processes and procedures, of which the inspection of imports and exports is fundamental. We know that to remain competitive, our ports have to be more effective and efficient. As trade increases in volume, so much so must our capacity for facilitation. Efficient cargo management and the full auto automation of customs and other regulatory processes is guaranteed to bring down the cost of clearing, ultimately, ultimately the prices of goods in the open market, an occurrence that will be beneficial to consumers across the nation. We also understand that the technology should be deployed in a manner most suitable to our need and environment. This is why we have developed a standard operating procedure, SOP, for the use of these scanners. Our SOPs provide all stakeholders with a working guide as to their individual responsibility, from customs officers, clearing agents, shipping companies, to terminal operators. Rules are defined to show who should be doing what, where, how, and when. It is the spelling out of these rules and how they should be performed that will ensure that we get the maximum benefit from using this non-intrusive examination equipment. As a lead agency in, the facil in trade facilitation, we are constantly, constantly in the business of reverting ourselves, reinventing ourselves. Not satisfied with the achievement of the past, our focus is on making the present and the future greater. However, because we acknowledge the importance of partnering with other relevant government regulatory agencies, we have created windows that will enable connectivity to our system. Where physical joint examination were previously conducted by all relevant agencies, the scanning process will not only reduce the stress associated with positioning, of loading and taking inventory of scan containers. It will, also, it will store recorded images in a safe format, easily accessible by all agencies from the comfort of their offices. It makes the auditing of the transaction using these images easier and will definitely checkmate attempts by non-compliant trader, traders to cheat the system. The challenge of security is of immense concern to all, to a well-meaning citizen. Since we know that good number of items which pose a threat to national security find their way through our borders, through our various entry points, we believe that equipment that is being commissioned by to today will greatly enhance our capacity to defend our nation. As we approach phase one of the e-customs modernization, we shall see deployment of scanners to all seaports, airports, and approved land borders. We shall also witness the launch of a central data management system when live feeds from our ports and borders can be viewed and monitored from our headquarters. We are therefore grateful for the support of our supervising ministry and the untiring efforts of the Honorable Minister of Finance, Budget, and National Planning in making this dream a reality. We want to assure her and all Nigerians, that this equipment will be put to good use for the benefit of all. Unlike previous attempts at managing scanners, our officers have been trained up to level two maintenance capability. This ensures that the day-to-day -day man management of these machines will be proficiently handled by our own officers who have been trained and certified by manufacturers to carry out basic maintenance. We appreciate our partners, the terminal operators, who have taken the pains to adjust their operations to suit the innovations of the moment. Our continuous collaboration would, will ensure that cargo are promptly delivered for scanning and evacuated from the ports as soon as they are certified to be compliant by our own officers and other, other regulatory agencies. Finally, let me reiterate 
that the importance of willful compliance to ex extant laws regarding international trade. We are ready to do all we can to assist compliant traders. We know that this equipment will be of special benefit to manufacturers who import homogeneous items in large volumes. We also know that <coughs> importers of high-risk goods will no longer have any place to hide. So we are hereby putting recalcitrant traders on notice. They either change or be ready to face the full consequences of their action. May I also add that we do hope that our terminal operators, especially those who are handling containers, will join hand with us in order to move this project forward and make the best success of it. The outcome as of today is not appreciable. Uh, we believe that it is your responsibility to position containers. And now that we have scanners and we are not doing manual inspection, I do not see any reason why we will not, we will not maximize the capacity of this machine. The machine these machines can scan between 400 to 500 containers per day. Why are we doing 130 containers per day? There's no reason. There's no reason. Then we have not moved forward. Because without containers, we are doing 200 containers. Without scanners. Why is it today that when we have scanners, we'll be doing less than this thing? Simply because you complain of logistics. That is not acceptable. Every terminal operator must wake up and align with us. We want to ease the process for importers. We want to facilitate trade, but we must collaborate in order to achieve this. So I'm warning, because I don't want us to get to a stage where we we'll begin to confront ourselves. Please and please, let's up our game. Commissioning of the three scanners is to achieve ease of doing business, facilitate trade, prevent port congestion, increase revenue generation, to the government and also improve national security. I'm really delighted to be here today at this very important event to commission three of the new new tech mobile scanners for the Nigerian Customs Service. I must commend, first of all, the Federal Executive Council under the able leadership of His Excellency President Muhammadu Buhari, who granted approval through FAC for the procurement and installation of these scanners, and also for the training of 120 officers of the Nigerian Customs Service. I equally commend the Controller General of Customs, Colonel Hamid Ali, for his commitment towards the successful supply and installation of these three scanners at three different locations, here in Apapa, Tinkan Island, as well as in One Ports. My appreciation goes to the leadership and the officials of the Nigerian Customs Service and other invitees that are here today. I'm also particularly glad because this project will no doubt support the Nigerian Customs Service in the delivery of its core mandate, which is trade facilitation. And this is in line with the key priorities set for our ministry by His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari targeted at enhancing the ease of doing business, reducing poverty, and stimulating macro positive macroeconomic conditions for sustained economic growth and development. Let me also remind us that the federal government of Nigeria in 2005 contracted the provision, installation, and operations, as well as management of X-ray scanners and computerized risk management systems for the examination of goods on a build, operate, and transfer basis for a seven-year period. For, by, uh, it was assigned to a company called Contecna Destination Inspections Limited, as well as Societe Generale de Surveillance Limited and Global Scanner Systems. This seven years expired, and then there was an initial extension by three years, and then another extension by six months. The essence of this project to modernize the operations of the customs is in line with international best practice. 
at the expiration of the uh, contract in December 2012, it was extended again for a period of six months, which ended in 2013. Consequently, the government entered into a transition arrangement which terminated in November 2013. The Customs Service commenced the operations of the scanners by its own staff. However, upon the exit of the scanners uh, service providers, some of the scanners became dysfunctional, which resulted in physical examination of goods by the Customs Service. This challenge made the government to provide these new scanners at the ports in order to improve the examination of cargoes by the service. Furthermore, the current process of physical examination of cargoes is time consuming, is causing loss of revenue to businesses, even to terminal operators, but more especially also to government. And it cannot be compared with the scanning of cargoes that is carried out in minutes by scanners such as this ones, and having the capacity to de detect prohibited imports that are concealed in cargoes. This process enables more cargoes to be scanned and brings about the desired efficiency and effectiveness in cargoes examination processes. The commissioning of these three non-intrusive scanners today is a milestone in the history of the Nigerian Customs Service in its efforts to expedite customs operations also to achieve its mandate of improving the ease of doing business, its mandate of trade facilitation, as well as its mandate of preventing ports congestion. These three scanners will help to increase revenue for government and also improve national security. The scanners will also help us to enhance the more effective remote audit trail of goods within the port system. So you don't have to be within the port to examine the results of the scanners. I therefore implore the management of the Nigerian Customs Service to collaborate with the scanners, uh, scanner contractors to ensure proper maintenance and full utilization of the scanners within the 30 months period as provided in the contract, as well as to enhance capacity building and the training of 120 personnel of the Nigerian Customs Service. I also want to implore the Nigerian Ports Authority, the port terminal operators, and all key operators of the ports to cooperate with the Nigerian Customs Service and to take full advantage of these scanners which have the capacity to process up to 500 containers in a day. The current daily average processing capacity that is now as low as 120 containers can very easily be quickly ramped up to 500 containers within a maximum of 90 days. Finally, I want to wish and inform the management and the entire officers, the men of the Nigerian Customs Service and all of the port community that efforts are being made to procure more of such scanners to bring in and install them in our seaports, in our land borders, in our airports across the country. The essence of this is to improve efficiency and generate more revenue to government, but most importantly, to enhance trade facilitation. The minister later commissioned the three scanning machines, the three ports, a proper tinker and on a port. You are watching the program, Customs Report. Goods worth over 1.2 billion naira was impounded by customs officials in Lagos. The impounded goods include drugs and a container of charcoal. Prestation is part of our problems in this country. Nigerians who have not cultivated the habit that if you fall a tree, you plant 10. But they are falling all these trees and they are not replacing them. So it is on the strength of that that government felt, ah, if we do not stop this ongoing trade, at a point we will have nothing 
to see uh, like we have any forest again. But you can see this. He urged Nigerian importance and agents to stop smuggling items through the unapproved routes, saying that anyone caught will face the long arm of the law. Other items seized include 15 trailers of foreign rice, over 85,000 liters of PMS and used tires. To follow government fiscal policies. Government knows what is ripe and good for their citizenry. There is no responsible government that will like its citizens to become second class. And there is no responsible government that will allow its country to become a dumping ground. We shouldn't allow our country to become a dumping ground. Nigeria is well blessed, well talented. And for us to consume what is hazardous, what government sees that is not good for us, we know we have some bad eggs who, because of personal gains, may want to ferry those things in. But I'm telling Nigerians, I'm soliciting their support to give us intelligence on wherever all these unwholesome items are being kept. According to him, the customs will continue to fight smugglers along the nation's borderline. <laughs>40 rice, 50 kg each, 239 bucks, with a duty paid value of 7 million 90,300 naira. Foreign rice, 25 kg each, 2 bucks, and the sum of 30,800 naira as a duty paid value. Cartons of Sofagetti, 821 cartons. Foreign Sofagetti. 821 cartons with a duty paid value of 4,926,000 naira. Seize the 10 vehicles, one used Lexus 470, 470G SUV with a duty paid value of 7,425,000 naira. Speaking for that, he said that four suspects were arrested alongside with the consignment. Connection with the seizures, four suspects were arrested and granted administrative bail pending the conclusion of the investigation so far. The success recorded in the period under review were attributed to the resilience and commitment of the officers and men of the custom command, Katsana, working with an effective synergy that is existing among the sister security agencies who have shown exceptional professionalism in discharging their duties in line with the extent laws and regulations of the Federation. He maintained that customs will continue to fight against smuggling activities in the country. The customs area controller in charge of PTL import has recorded the highest revenue so far in the command. In 2022, there was an increase despite the, the global uh, economic shock, despite the low uh, volume of uh, 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 trade uh, throughput, despite so many challenges, internal and external factors affecting revenue generation, but the PTML garnered 199 billion 468 million 482 million 842.00 Kobo, an increase in 7.57 percent. Well, for me, this is my third month. I there is a good prospect of revenue in this uh, particular command. Uh, but as I've said, external factors uh, and internal factors can uh, attributable to uh, the, the probably the not much increase in it. I expect for me as a person, I need to even double the revenue figure. Uh, but then this is how we are and this is uh, 
how it is. 7.7% increase as against 2021 is impressive. Uh, just like I've started by telling you that on a whole, if an organization is contributing one quarter uh, monthly to the Federation Allocation Committee, you know, no, nobody needs to tell you that that organization is really working or doing well. The acting controller in charge of Ogun State Command have been speaking on the revenue generation of his command. So the Nigerian Customs Service will continue to tax any taxable items as approved by government. He speaks more on a number of issues. It may interest you to know that Ogun Tun Command as an excise area is on the pecking order fifth on revenue, uh, revenue generation all over the country. So we are not going to rest on our oaths. We must ensure that we will not, not only to meet the revenue target, but to surpass it. That's why we are here. Operation. They should do the, what is expected of them. And we, as public servants, as we will play our role professionally. So we expect them to continue to abide by the extant laws and they will find us as their friends. Just before the end of this week edition of the program Custom Support, we brought you a report where seizures made by KB Command was displayed by the controller in charge of the command. For me, Egesema Engineer, thanks for watching.